In this video, we will focus on the use case of creating and configuring the network set for an enclosure with two interconnects. The same network set is used in both the uplink set and profile connections. This video is tailored specifically for the configuration and does not cover all network configuration scenarios. Let us understand more about this use case. We have an uplink set that uses one port from each of the interconnects within the enclosure, thereby forming a link aggregation group LAG. The network set NS1 containing red and green networks is assigned to the uplink set US1. Additionally, the server profile connections that are part of the configuration also use the same network set. LAG is configured on both the uplink set and the server profile connections. The goal of this configuration is to ensure that if one interconnect experiences an outage, the other handles the traffic seamlessly. Now we will walk through the steps to create the network set and configure HP OneView for this use case. First, create networks. Then, create the network set and add the networks to it. Edit the logical interconnect group to create an uplink set and add the network set to the uplink set. Apply the configuration of the logical interconnect group to all the logical interconnects in the group to make the resources consistent. Create a server profile template and configure the connection settings to add the same network set as in the uplink set. Now apply the settings from the server profile template to create the server profile. After completing the configuration, you can edit it to make further changes. You must have infrastructure administrator privileges to perform all the steps. Now let's start the demo and create networks. Log in to the HP OneView appliance. From the main menu, select Networking, Networks. Click Create Network. For this use case, create the red network. Specify the name Red. Select Ethernet as the network type. For VLAN, select Tagged. For VLAN ID, specify 10. For subnet IDs, retain as none. Select General as the purpose of the network. Retain the default values for preferred bandwidth and maximum bandwidth. Ensure the checkbox is selected for Smart Link. Click Create. Repeat the steps and create the required networks. Next, assign the networks to the network set. From the main menu, select Networking, Network Sets. Click Create Network Set. As illustrated in the connection flow diagram, create the network set NS1. To NS1, add the red and green networks. Specify the name as NS1. Retain the default values for preferred bandwidth and maximum bandwidth. Select regular as type for the network set. Click add networks. Press the control key and select the networks you want to be part of the network set. We are selecting the red and green networks. Click add. Click create. Now configure the logical interconnect group to create the uplink set and add the network set to the uplink set. From the main menu, Select Networking, Logical Interconnect Groups. In the list pane, select the logical interconnect group to which you want to add the network set. Click Actions, Edit. Click Add Uplink Set. As illustrated in the connection flow diagram, create the uplink set US1. Specify the name as US1. Select Ethernet as the network type. Retain the default values for connection mode LACP Timer, LACP Load Balancing and LACP Failover Trigger. Ensure the checkbox is selected for LACP Distribute Uplink Ports. Scroll down and click Add Network Set. Select the network set NS1 that you created earlier and click Add. Scroll down and click Add Uplink Ports. Press the Control key and select the ports you want to be part of the uplink set. Click Add. Click Create. Click OK. Apply the configuration from the logical interconnect group to the logical interconnects. From the main menu, select Networking, Logical Interconnects. In the list pane, select the logical interconnect. When the logical interconnect settings are inconsistent with its logical interconnect group, you see a warning when you select it. Click Actions, Update from Group. You are shown a message with the details of the update. Read to understand the update and then click Yes Update. You are prompted to acknowledge and then proceed. Select the checkbox to indicate you have understood the implications and click Yes Update. You can monitor the status of the update from the activity page. After the update is complete, the alert is no longer shown on the logical interconnects page. Next, configure connection settings from the server profile template with LAG. From the main menu, select Servers, 
Server Profile Templates. In the List pane, select the Server Profile Template. From the View List, select Connections. From the Connections option, click Edit. Ensure the Manage Connections checkbox is selected. Select an option for the consistency checking. Click Add Connection. Specify the name as Connection 1 and select the function type as Ethernet. Select the network set NS1 that you created from the network list. Retain Auto option for the port. Select an option for the link aggregation group. Set the requested bandwidth and requested virtual functions. Select an option for the boot and click Add. Repeat the steps to add the required connections and click OK. Now, apply the template settings to create the server profile. In the list pane, select the server profile template. Click Actions, Create Server Profile. Specify the name as Profile 1. Select the server hardware. Click Create. From the main menu, select Servers, Server Profiles. In the list pane, verify the profile you created is present. We have now completed all the steps for creating and configuring usage of the same network set in both uplink set and profile connections. If you want to add or remove networks to the existing network configuration, edit the network set. Any changes you make to the networks are reflected in the uplink set and connections. In this use case, we are adding the blue network to the existing network set NS1. Here are the steps to change the existing network configuration. Edit the network set and update the networks. Verify the changes to the network configuration in the uplink set. Let's start the demo. From the main menu, select Networking, Network Sets. In the list pane, select NS1. Click Actions, Edit. Click Add Networks. Select the blue network from the list and click Add. Click OK. You can monitor the status of the update from the activity page. Now let's verify the changes to the network set in the Logical Interconnect Group. From the main menu, select Networking, Logical Interconnect Groups. In the list pane, select the Logical Interconnect Group to which the change network set is associated. Click Actions, Edit. Click the Edit icon next to the uplink set. You see the uplink set US1 now has the blue network added to it. We learned how to make the changes to the networks after configuration. Thank you for watching. Thank you.